It is Tuesday, which means our favorite radio duo is back in our kitchen. KVOO's Amber and Brooks are here with one of my favorite recipes, a little bit of a twist on apple crisp. Yes, this is just for you because you were okay. gone on your birthday week. I so I wanted to show you something that you could do. And this is perfect because this is sort of a rustic take. It's a caramel apple crisp, and you can do it for just one or two people. Perfect. So I love that. If you have apples and the stuff to make streusel in your house, you're golden. Brooks, I'm going to let you start on the streusel while I cut and core okay, the apples. You keep that knife over there. Yes, sir. So he's going to add in, this is just brown sugar, flour, and allspice. Okay. That's all that is. He's going to toss that into the bag. I do all of my streusel toppings in Ziploc bags because it's so much easier. Me too. And a lot less messy. <laughs> this That's, is very simple Those are steel do. cut oats that are going in. And Brooks flipped out when I asked him about a melon baller. He'd never heard of it before. Have you ever heard of a melon baller? I've never okay. used one. I've heard of it. Oh, okay. okay. Well, no, if you I'd don't have a melon baller at home, okay. though, you can just use you can't copy my a metal measuring book. spoon. Okay. You're my favorite radio duo, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And all I'm going to do is core these apples. Okay. Now, how is this different than like the baked traditional apple crisp? Well, that's a lot more unhealthy, right? I don't know about you, but if I have a baked apple crisp, a whole one in front of me, I'm going to eat a whole one. Yes. So just the portion size alone makes it a lot healthier for okay. you because it's literally you're going to eat one half and be done. They're well, really rich. Thank you for asking, Brian. <laughs> you don't know the answer, Brooks. To anything. Well, Brooks, you tell me. Anything. Thank you. Then. Um, tell me how this is healthier, Brooks, than the, the traditional um, apple crisp so bake. So what we have here, Brian, is <laughs> a lot um, less butter. There's no lard in it. So <laughs> okay. Um, traditional ones usually have lard. Okay. So uh, anything without lard is going to be healthier. What's well, healthier yeah, than shocking? Stuff with yeah. lard. You heard yes. it here first. So breaking. Should we break in with that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, We're already on. <laughs> oh, okay. Next, all I'm going to do is put a caramel square in the center here. All right. Well, that's easy. I, could, Great, I, could I told done you that. this is really easy. I'm going to put them in a small baking dish Okay. where they all stand up straight. Have oh. you got that mixed up? You didn't close it. I know. I, it opened. You have to close the bag. You get the Brooks. cheap bag. All right, here. I should have done that part. If you're going to put steel. I should know better than to trust him with anything I would not trust I could have done that part. With. I could have done that part. This is so not closed, even a little bit. So you shake it up really it good. It opened up. Okay. Are you having fun yet? I'm having, Are you such, I'm having a blast. Okay. I'm having it fun. looks a lot easier when my stepmom makes it. All right. Okay. This is the messy. Well, you really got that butter all mashed together there, Brooks. Is I not, was job. I not supposed to? Well, it's supposed to be a little This is the worst thing that is on right now. <laughs> Out of all the stations, what are we doing Stop right now? Stop saying that. This is brilliant is television. It? Okay. You take that back. Well, you're doing great, Amber. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Amber. We're just going to top with streusel topping. Okay. Shake your head. You gave me all the direction you gave me was, hey, put this in the bag and mix it up. So at home, what should we do that that we miss a step here with Brooks? Um, Just so, really make sure it's blended well. Yeah. So he mashed the butter all together, okay. and it's supposed to be. You're supposed. To, I diced it on purpose so that it would stay in little squares, but he mashed it all together because Brooks. Um, because but good Brooks. job, Brooks. Good job. It'll still yeah. taste delicious. I promise. Okay. All right. So, so then, after this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put about a. I don't know, quarter inch of water in the bottom, and I'm going to bake it for about 40 minutes at 350 degrees. Pull it out, the top will be nice and crisp. That butter will all melt into the apple, and then you will get these. Look at this. And they this are delicious. It's great for the kids. It's a great snack. It's not super unhealthy, just a little bit of butter. That's oh, great. Yeah. And those are for you. So. Oh, these are. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're done with work for the day. You just get to eat apple crisp. Did you hear that? I'm going to take you? over, Brian. Oh, that's worth breaking in for. <laughs> and I'm Brian Norman. You? All right. And you listen, you can check out this recipe and others. We have a new, just for you, we created your own, did you know this? Your own space on our oh, website? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So for Amber and Brooks only exclusively, you'll go to newson6.com slash kitchen for their recipes. No viruses. Either. That's right. <laughs> 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 See, Brooks, that is exactly why we keep telling you you cannot sit in Brian's seat. No. Oh. No. I don't think, I don't oh. think so. Big shoes to fill there, Brooks. That's no reason.